Hey you guys, it's your girl Dodge coming back to you from Real Takes. Uh, happy Sunday. Thanks for tuning in again for one of our uh, regular weekly movie reviews. Uh, today is a special review, all things uh, Black Panther, all things Wakanda. And with that, as you can tell, I am not alone. I have a special guest, my buddy Stace the Speaker is here with me to join in the festivities and good discussion on all yeah. things T'Challa all things Wakanda. So with that said, you guys, uh, we just want to go ahead and just jump right into it. Um, first and foremost, um, I got to say, um, did you enjoy Black Panther? Let's Loved just start it. off of the gate. Okay. Loved it. I enjoyed it. I Now, I always like to ask people, you know, they say they enjoyed it all. You enjoyed it so much that are you planning to go see it more than once? Have you seen it more than once? Or? I haven't seen it more than once yet, but I might see it again today. Okay. Um, and yeah. if I don't see it again today, I'm going to definitely go see it on that $5 Tuesday. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. That is pointed out to me quite a bit. I actually enjoy that. Now, I will say this. For us, in regards to Black Panther, um, now, are you more inclined? Did you read the comic books? Did you know anything about Black Panther? Because I know we were introduced to Black Panther Mies more so through Captain America uh, uh -huh, Captain Civil America. War. Right. That was where I was introduced. I never read the comic books. You know, we're mm -hmm. going to fix that, if, you know, and going going forward. But um, had you known about it before, growing up, whatever, and all that in regards to Black Panther? I, I've heard about Black Panther. But I was okay. never really a comic book okay. reader. So, yeah, I, you know, I agree. Yeah. I got into Marvel just through the movies. That's I can say that as well because I said I love Marvel and I do love DC. I grew up mostly with DC and mostly you know dealing with Superman and of course Wonder Woman and all. And I eventually came more aware of Marvel. Of course, once I saw of course the Iron Man movies and of course mm -hmm. when you started adding on to the different characters doing you know of course you know Captain America. Then we of course have um, Black Widow, Falcon, all the other yep. ones, etc., etc., etc. Now with this particular one, I will give the shout out because of course this was created by Stan Lee and then mm -hmm. it was the artist who drew him named Jack Kirby. I give shout out to him because he did a very lovely um, take on what Black Panther would look like through the comics and of course they enhanced the look through Marvel yep. and it looks really nice when they did um, the unveiling a couple years back when they were going through your phases you know phase one now phase two is almost complete because yeah. it's a 10 year anniversary and now we're going to be heading into phase three I just became engulfed with the way the design looked I was excited to see him on on you know in the next movie which was the Captain America and then mm -hmm. here we are now with his own yep. standalone movie now how did you feel about Chadwick Boseman and this one granted we only saw a little bit of him in Captain America Civil War but this one we got a little bit more insight in his back background his origin mm -hmm. I'm a, I mean I like Chadwick Boseman yes at the very least I like the characters actor. the characters he plays the last yes. movie I saw was Marshall that he yes did. yes and, um, very good very good people. yeah definitely go, definitely watch that it should be now out on DVD so you should be able to check that out as well yeah um, I became introduced to him when I saw him in 42 42 right That's I love that yep. movie and then also once I realized who he was because he came out of nowhere because I, right. I saw Seems Fletcher, like I was like, did. who, who, who is, is this guy? guy? And I say, I love when that happens sometimes with certain actors. Yeah. They'll come out with a, a really good hit movie, and then you're like, you're introducing, and from there you want to follow their work, because if you right. do a good character, you know, arc with that particular biopic, then mm -hmm. it turns into something more where, okay, I'm going to start keeping, you know, keep an eye on, you know, check the IMDb, okay, what's he got going on next, whatever. And of course yeah. you see he's adding on, he did um, Get On Up. Yep, he was James Brown. Yeah, but I, I think I did see him somewhere before 42. I don't okay. just not remember right now, but mm -hmm. yeah, get on up. Yes, just he's he's adding on to him. He's done a couple other movies that were not as mainstream, but he's just, you know, you got to keep, you know, keep active, you know, doing those acting roles and all that, and just changing up your acting, you know, appearances, your characters, the personalities, all that, so you can keep, let people know that you can do different things. Right. And now, Black Panther is going to put him on a whole new stratosphere, of course. Oh, yeah. So, we already know. He has opened himself up where a lot of other roles will come up, whichever. Now, also, I love that he worked with our director, Ryan Coogler. Mm -hmm. Also, there's other person in the movie that we're going to talk about, uh, our boy, Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Now, they have a history because they worked uh, together on Fruitville. And he also right, Fruitville, right. Fruitville Station. Station yeah. And then Creed as well. So, right, they right, have right, that, right. you know, that little friendship and rapport. So, him mm -hmm. coming into, how did you feel about him playing Killmonger? I think, I mean, I think it was good for you him to be. You thought he was a decent villain? I think him? he was. I think he was, um, you know what? Be, I didn't, I didn't see him as a 100% villain right, because yeah. you can kind of identify. Yeah. I, there's some things I can identify with in the character, you know, it's like he's upset because that's why I said more of a revenge. It wasn't like well, right. with villains most of the time. I can I can't speak really for you, but you can let me know if I'm kind of going there with villains. Just no type of emotion, you know, killing at will, whichever in order to get to whatever they want. There's always never an underlining 
reason for some yeah. of the things that they do. Now right. with him, this was kind of like revenge for how they did him, his father. Right. You know, not right. to spoil, because we're not going to spoil on here. I'm going to just, because some people might yeah. still have not seen it. There's a holiday tomorrow. You all might still be going. So, oh, yeah. The, yeah, but that's not too much of a spoiler. But yes, his father and what had happened and certain things, the events that ripple, it was a ripple effect. Yeah. Certain things that happened, you yeah. know, case in point, like we said, like uh, with the origin, how they want us to showcase T'Challa, his father being T'Chaka, mm -hmm. you know, show him as a younger male going to visit his brother, you know, right. they did Circle 92, Oakland, and, you know, he was on assignment. Mm -hmm. That was really nice to see that they had them going into certain parts of America yeah. amongst the people blending in. I like that part where oh, yeah, that was... down the road they'll flush out if they, when they do the second one. Yeah. Put that out there. And I enjoyed how there were other parts that were at play during that scene. Can't discuss that too much, but let's just say that, like I stated, you know, he's there, his his uh, brother is coming to inquire about certain things, mm -hmm. and then, you know, askly kind of, you know, ask him other things that have happened where certain things, acts of, say, for instance, betrayal, you know, and having to um, clear up, you know, misconstruing certain people who are around, you know, just having another agenda, mm -hmm. you know, so I kind of enjoyed that part, you know, even though, as you can see, present day, certain individuals going to the present being T'Challa did not know about certain things that happened in the past. He was shielded right. from certain things. So yeah. you get your take on how you felt about that with his father, younger, and then the older version, you know, of course, being circum, because at the beginning of the movie, they show him, he had already, his father had already passed. Because it's almost mm -hmm. like they started kind of from where he'd had right, an accident where, explosion. Right, we're left off in, uh, uh, was that Civil War? Civil War, yes. Yeah, yeah. And I like how they kind of intertwine that a little bit because even though he was having flashbacks of thinking about, we at least got to see it so anybody who couldn't remember, you mm -hmm. know, they give you kind of a little bit of, um, a, you know, a little flashback memory so you can kind of say, okay, that's right, this did happen. Right, they time, apprehended yeah. the real guy who did it as opposed to who we thought it was when they wanted to make it think it was Bucky that did it, but it wasn't him. Mm -hmm. So I actually um, liked that they did that because... In movies like this, they don't always show you everything, but they have to show you just enough so you kind of follow the story. Yeah. Enough to see what's going on. Now, right. I want to ask you, what did you think about the part when they, of course, will say, you know, there's a situation with one of the people that's closest to him that he really cares about when they were heading back the scenery of Wakanda. When they showed him, we finally got to see what it looks like techno technologically. How did you feel mm -hmm. about the overall? It, it took me back. I remember when I was uh, I, 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 maybe eight. Wakanda. Okay. My parents actually took me to see Coming to America. Oh, and so yeah. When, I mean, when you watch it Coming to America and it first comes on mm -hmm. and they're going through Zamunda, when I was a right, kid, right. I was like, oh, wow, you know? Beautiful. I mean, it the kinda, land, all yeah. that. It was so beautiful. Like, he made that comment. He says, this never gets old. Yes, seeing it. right, right. Just going through and showing right. the guys on a horse and they're like, kind of like they were slightly waving, right, right, whatever. Right, right, right. And about the tribes, you know, I have to give some shout out for the different people. Like, I will say I enjoy M'Baku. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it, even though I will say I wish they had flushed out a little bit them a little bit more, like you know, in regards to the combat and the battles, the fighting mm -hmm. sequences, a little bit more of them. Even though they did the one that they did when he came back to become king, you know, they have to, you know, they they ask them all out there: Is anyone going to, you know, go into combat, go, you know, battle him for mm -hmm. the throne? You know, and of course, Mbaku comes out and he has, you know, his speech to him and all that. He's like, okay, I challenge you. You know, your challenge has been accepted. And that fight was good, whichever. It was the proper way. Because as we all see in the trailer or whatever, there's Mbaku. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. little screenshot, Mbaku. Yeah. yeah. Um, just his banter. I loved, uh, his name is Winston Duke in real life. He played that part very well. I enjoyed him. It was. It was a, yes. it was a good character. It was a good character. It was, it was a little bit of comic relief. Yes. But yes. he was serious, too. Right. I like the way that they, um, even even when you go and you see uh, when they take you to his home. Yes. And you're, yes. And you're in there. I mean, like, the scenery. Yeah, it's you know, beautiful. And, and then they, of course, they mountain people. Yes. And it just, uh, it gives more of a range to what you, you know, in your mind, what you and think as exactly. African or um, right. that experience. Or, or and I liked it because like. they chose not to be. Remember, we were, um, were talking prior how at the beginning they give you an understanding of how they had end up getting the vibranium due to, you know, meteorite and things of that nature mm -hmm. and how they chose to stay a part of it. They didn't like how when he utilized this, whoever was the king or the, you know, at the time, they were like, we don't want no part of this because it's almost like everybody surrounded them and it's like you all were kind of flushed out so he's like you know we don't we want to stand apart from you all mm -hmm. that's kind of why they kept themselves away from them the way they did the stuff with their technology and that became an issue now 
I won't go too much in the political part, but we'll just say that some people, even when I read some comments about this, some people thought it was very political. No, not really. There mm. were sort of subtle, subtle things in it, but a lot of the other movies for Marvel were political and certain things that they brought. Very, always very slightly uh, shielded and subtle in their tone and wording. Even with um, right. Waku, Daniel Kalu's character talking to Chadwick about wanting to do more because Nakia's character, played by Lupita, Mm -hmm. Makes comments like, you know, we, we have all this technology, we have all these things, we can right. help other, you know, our, you right. know, our people, other people, and all the, let's do this, we can make it better. Yeah. And I agreed with her. It's like, you're keeping all this, but he's like, it's a certain way they go about doing things. Mm -hmm. right. How did you feel about that? You thought it was too much, too much of politicizing when they were having discussions about that? I think that you can, you can talk and make that yes. a political thing, but I think yeah. that's real life. Yes. You know, so when when they were talking about, I mean, they said a couple of things like that that they dropped into the movie. And like, the people, audience, I heard some of the audience when him and Waku were talking about certain people who were outside there, you know, coming in and how things would be. Yeah. Get, oh, yes. yes. Oh, oh, some I, heard the, the, I heard that over yeah. my, I heard that over my shoulder. Like, somebody was like, see, they about to let them in yeah, and they can yeah, come yeah, steal yeah, everything. Just like, oh. <laughs> so that's definitely right, those. That phrasing, I, yeah. somebody was like, mm-hmm. Yeah. I was just like, oh, gosh. <laughs> but, yeah. You know. but, but for me, listening to them talk about how uh, there was a line like I, the, people like us all over the globe, wherever right. they are, right. are oppressed. And I was right. like, man, they dropped that line in there. Right. That can be political, right. but but there still is, is a lot of truth to that. Right. And um, right. Right. I like the way that they wove that into the yes. story. Yes. I, I, I liked it because so much at the end. Right. It is. It's not. Um. I don't know. It just it made the story deeper. It gave depth to the yeah. story, and it and it and it sort of attracted me or kind of bonded me to the story because they took that common experience, yes. you know, something that's true for really all of us in yeah. some way, mm -hmm. and um and they put it into that story. It was mm -hmm. like man, they they sort of they they did a good job merging the reality yeah. of it yes. with the fantasy, and I think that that. I don't know, it just added a lot of depth to the story. I do. Now, let's just get into the action part. Now, how did you feel about Dene, a.k.a. Michonne, a.k.a. Okoye, yeah. the general? Right. His um, all-female army. Loved it. I loved, loved her. Loved it. Oh, yeah. I just oh, yeah. love how she carried herself and just in being yeah. in charge and making sure to yeah. take care of him, take care of, make sure yes. her, her army takes care of the princess his mother, you know, just everything about just her banter and the way she came across talking yeah. to them just in discussions. Yep. You know, the scene at the club. Yep. Can't spoil too much, but let's just say a very good action sequence with yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. They only gave us a little bit in the, in the trailer. Let's just say it's a lot more to that scene than yeah, UCI yeah. with her spear. Yep. You know, and then I can say I had a, a fun time watching them when they were doing the car scene outside. Oh, yeah. When they were coming after him. Yeah. And let's just say, not to take away from her, Andy Serkis was hilarious playing oh, Claw. Yeah. yeah. He's not within all of the movie, but he has a significant role that he plays in the movie in regards to dealing with the situation with the vibranium, we'll say. Because if you all remember Age of Ultron, you sure already know what we were discussing in regards to that. So that's right. too, that's not spoiler there, but it is kind of, in regards to vibranium, it just expands where it's helping right. him because you cause, he lost his arm. And if right. you all saw the right. trailer... Not giving that away, you know, he has an enhanced arm that has what looks like to be vibrating and whichever and all that. And he's trying to sell it to the highest bidder, certain parts, whichever and all that. Mm -hmm. Unbeknownst to people, he's working with a certain individual, you know, in the movie. Now, I love his little scenes and just, I like that he's not doing CGI stuff. Because when we see him in Planet of the Apes and everything else, so now we get to see him full fleshed out yeah. playing a role. Because I'm tired of always seeing him behind the scenes. So to see Andy Serkis just playing a good character and more lively right. than he was in Age of Ultron was smaller. But this one was a little bit more in depth and more mm -hmm. longer was fun. But yep. their scenes with the, the car chase and all that was Shuri and her brother that were fun, too. Oh, yeah. That, that whole other. brother sister thing was yes. great. I really I enjoyed love that in the movie. Shuri, Letitia Wright did awesome playing the sister. Oh, yeah. And she does look like she could be young. Now, granted, they said her character was supposed to be, what, 16, 17? The way they had her look, hair, face, she could look like she was young. Because I think she's in her oh, mid Oh, I was sold. I was sold. I, I thought yeah, this I, was I, was first I was not sure when I saw her at the Comic-Con. I was just like, really? She's supposed to play the teen? She did but when you job. see her in the movie, yeah... Yes, yeah, she did a good job. Oh, there are so many different scenes um, with her and him. You know, I can tell they had a lot of fun. I, I keep thinking they probably had to do those scenes over and over again because literally we were having too much fun when they were doing them. You know, her, you know, coming at him or doing certain scenes mm -hmm. when he's looking at the different suits and she recording him. Oh, certain yeah. scenes. That it was, was really funny. natural. It was really it natural. It was. It was. And I'm looking forward to hopefully them, you know, developing her a little bit more and showing more. But I love that she was very uh, good at technology you know very high school with her yeah. that was awesome to see that she yeah. was the helm 
They they oh, they did women right this movie. Yes. Even yes. even even with the all women guard, which yes. was like the coolest thing. Yes. They still were feminine, and that's what I loved about it. They mm-hmm. weren't. They 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 were tough. You yes, know, they were. They were like uh, they were in charge, no doubt about it. Mm-hmm, but they I, still. It didn't seem. I, I don't know. They just it, it kept a good balance okay. of. It didn't seem like uh you know. Uh, Black Panther was pushing anybody around because he's the right. king, and it didn't seem mm-hmm. like that. You know, right. uh, well, women run the world. Or, you know, right. it wasn't like that. Right. Everybody played their part. Right. Nobody was above anybody else. Right. And it was and it was a strong front. I really enjoyed that part of it. Yes. Now really for Michael B, a good old Killmonger right there, I would say um, I enjoyed his scenes a lot um i hate that you know he felt the need it was all about revenge like okay he all those other people were not aware of certain things that were happening that affected him that's why i said i don't want to spoil too much but needless to say the way things happen towards the ending i wonder if they could have went another direction if you know what i mean mm-hmm. with what happened between him and chadwick mm-hmm. you know so much they could have done whichever and all that i don't know we could say but, you know but, but looking at it though like after the damage that that would have been done, do you think? It's, you it's, I don't know. I, you know what? It, to discuss what I think may give too much away from, yeah. the, from the movie, but I don't necessarily see it as a closed book. Okay. I, not necessarily. You okay. know, you know okay. they, they can, they can kind of do things. But you you mentioned fun. Fun fact is I, 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 the Lord of the Rings cast in this movie. Yeah. Two, you, yeah. Know, you, got, you got The Hobbit <laughs> and you got uh, Gollum in that movie. Yeah, we're talking about Andy Serkis and Martin yeah. Freeman. Martin Freeman's character was really good. Um, especially, we already talked about him in that little scene with him and M'Baku. He was like, you know, once more, but just, you know, he just didn't yeah. want to hear anything from him. Right. You know, he, you know, shut that down. We'll put it like that because there's a good, funny scene, so we'll just yeah, leave it at yeah, that. Yeah, but I like that he. You'll say kind of in some ways he was a part of saving the day and there was nothing wrong with that, whatever and all. You know, yeah. he was there, you know, he did something that was um, not considered selfish and what he did to help Nakia. Right. So in the turn, they helped him and then he returned the favor by being instrumental in helping them with a big battle. Yeah. So I think that was actually pretty a good scene. Yeah, and it wasn't Freeman. overplayed. Like, no, you know, it they, wasn't. Didn't, they didn't bring him in too much. Yeah. You know, it would take right. away. That's the thing I like about it, because even when, even when they, uh, in the beginning of the movie, they give you the peace from Civil War. Right, right. They didn't go into bringing in all of the other uh, Marvel characters sort of right. overshadowing this story. Yes. You know, they, they kept it, you know, that piece of the movie, they mm-hmm. did a good enough part with putting that piece of the movie in there where mm-hmm. you're not distracted by, oh, there's Captain America, there's right, Black Widow. Right, right. Nope, it, it, was, it was firmly planted on Black Panther, and uh, I... I don't know. I, I really liked the movie. I think right. the story matched the graphics. Right. It wasn't, you know, um, the, the special effects didn't outshine the story because the story had layers to it. Right. And right. I, um, you you were talking about when they were in Los Angeles in the beginning. Right. right. There's so many different ways mm-hmm. that that you can go. You know, right. from that, you know, there's a back. You can put a backstory on that. That's you know what, what I was mean? thinking with the way they flushed out the little bit of the origin because that means it leaves it open for them to expand it and talk about it more. Yeah. Now, how about the um, battle scene between uh, Chadwick and um, Killmonger? Did you, um, well, Chadwick and uh, Michael? Did you enjoy that? I thought that was a really good fighting scene. Even with he had all the little things talking about all the kills he made with, yeah. with the indigenous. Because at first I was wondering if I kept thinking during the trail, and I'll admit this, it might sound you know funny I'm saying, but I will say it. I kept thinking that had something to do with how he became the Black Panther when it came on him. But then mm. when we saw another scene early on with you know T'Challa and his sister we understood how they were able to flush out their suit I thought that was a part of the suit but then when he had actually explained all right, those markings uh-huh. yeah cause I was totally the way they cut and edit trailers you just can't tell and I wasn't sure yeah. but I love that scene but I love the battle and he was right there's a scene where he was like you know I didn't um what's the thing they do when you have to give up when you've lost the fight and they kind of like, yes and mm-hmm. he didn't get to do that right and he's like oh no we, you know we're done here no, and i want to know it's not so fast and you see the part between um okoye and waku and he was like you know they did not it wasn't handled properly like do the right thing speaking of daniel cool let's just give him just a quick second how can you turn so quickly on your friend like that a little bit mm. i won't go into too much detail about him but just the way he just it takes Michael B. Jordan's character to bring him a little gift, and yeah, that's all it yeah, took. Yeah, and you just just flipped. Yeah, I was so infuriated with him in the movie yeah. how he could do that. You know, just so hastily. But I they, they mentioned feel. that because 
uh, he had killed. Who, who got killed? His, his parents. His parents, his yes, parents so, got killed. Yeah, there's a certain person was involved. We won't right. say who it is. It's more right. So yeah. If they would have, if they would have played up the emotion of that right. more, then right. maybe you could understand. Yeah. But he still seemed pretty low. I mean, they yeah. they just they could have gone a little bit they further did. and playing that up and maybe. And that's what I'll say. Okay, the movie is what two hour and a half, two and a half hours. For that's me, that's how long it was. I, I probably didn't yes. see that long. <laughs> I will say, well, yeah, about yeah, that much. Now, for me, overall, I put it like this because I'm gonna let you do your own put your rating. Um, out of a ten, I give it about a nine. Now, I say there because you know, get the full ten is because I wish he could have fleshed out a couple of characters, even his mother played by Angela Bassett, mm -hmm. just a little bit more of understanding her, you know, learn a little bit more. Um, about you know Koye, whichever not, because there's certain things from the comics that they didn't really go into and flesh out. They basically you know talked about her being a general, but there are some other things we didn't know about. I won't hit people who, if you comment, let me know if you know what I mean, whichever not. I want to put that in here off the gate. Um, then us also a cool a little bit more understanding, more discussion. We understood a little bit of Nakia Lupita, you mm. know, being an activist, wanting to do things for the community, whichever and all that, mm -hmm. and her having being the ex girlfriend, you know, and him having that little banter at the beginning where they were like, "Don't freeze," and we finally knew what that meant. Yeah. Yeah, right, right. That was right. hilarious. I thought that was funny because uh -huh. he did. And then he, he's like, did he flees like an antelope? And, you know, that was just a funny yeah, part. Yeah. I love that. So, it but yeah, oh, well, I mean, I like the movie. I, I, you know, hope, you know, that we will get our second one and they'll do a little bit more discussion with a lot of the characters, you know, backdrop. Didn't shout out to Forrest Whitaker. I almost forgot. He yeah, had an integral Forrest part Whitaker. in the movie. Yeah, he was. Very integral part uh -huh. in certain parts that are too spoilery we can't discuss, but he did a great job in the movie as well. Cool yeah. to him because he's a fantastic actor just in, in, in all the work he does, his body of work. But I like the movie overall. We we'll want a little bit more action the next time around. It was only hmm. a couple of battles, you know, with the, the battle scenes, you know, with, of course, becoming who's going to become king. Right. And there are a couple of them, you know, with the, the scene with the, you know, South Korea scene, you know, with the cars, speed, you know, speed chase. But mm -hmm. I, want, I want a little bit more action with that. But in the end, I really can't say really anything, you know. Some of people say maybe the CGI. Yeah, when they're fighting amongst each other, if you all saw in the trailer, you know, a lot of, I'm not expecting it to be CGI. I'm like, what else would it's gonna be? It's not gonna be physically if they're falling in some, you know, made up Wakanda, it's gonna look like that. And I caught a couple of that, but that wasn't anything that really bothered me. You know, it is what it is, you know. Mm. But and, and I liked it. What did, what did you think overall with the movie? I'll I'll judge by my satisfaction with it. Uh -huh. I was completely satisfied. I yes. give it a ten. Yeah. Because because all of the elements that I needed to see yeah. were in there. They didn't okay. um they uh, they told a good story. Mm -hmm. You know, they, yes. they had the graphics, it was you know, they they, they didn't make it a cheap movie. You know, yes. it was a well-made yes. movie. Yes, yes. He, I heard he had a budget of um, what was it? Um, about two hundred fifty. Because when he did Fruitville, Ryan Coogler, he had only what was nine hundred thousand or whatever. Nothing made like somewhere around uh, forty. He did a uh, Creed. He had like you no know, forty million, and it made like a hundred and seventy-five. So he just he just keeps getting the budget. Yeah. So he had a good budget to work with to make the movie he needed to make, which was great. Yeah, he so, put in them Tyler yes, Perry he numbers. Did. Yeah, small, that tiny budget. <laughs> ever blow ever it so growing, I tell yeah. you, Ryan, he did yeah. an awesome job as a director. I'm really keen to see because I was just um, talking prior to the show. Um, I wonder what's going to be happening with them right now. They're doing a promotional tour and they're finishing up because I think they're over in um, Johannesburg. They were showing pictures of um, uh, Lupita and Dane down there, whichever, and some of the other people. The man who played T'Chaka, the older version, he was at the premiere for that one, so oh. that was nice. Um, if he's on board for the second one, of course, you know, all the cast, of course, comes back. Most of the cast, whatever, will come back, you know, and how the story's going to develop, whichever. And all. I'm assuming it's now because Creed Two, Michael B. Jordan's about to start on Creed Two, mm. I think, in another month. Um, of course, he can't talk about it. He probably can't discuss it. You know, that is part of Marvel. And they're always tight-lipped when they're in the middle of the process of discussions for scripts. I'm hoping he's on board for the second one. I want them to stick with who he was because that was one of those uh, comic books he said he grew up watching. And I feel like it's in perfect, capable hands for a possible sequel. Mm. So my fingers, my hats are off to him for doing a great job with the first one. These theaters have been packed. Mine yeah. was packed. Oh, yeah. On both of the ones I went to see. I saw it Thursday and Saturday. So we had a ball. You said yours was packed. It's, I'm you telling know. you, people are out. People yes, are, are out wearing their, yes, <laughs> wearing yes. their garb. What kind of forever? Like, people yes. are. This I is got like, mine on right here, you guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, mine didn't come in the mail. I wanted oh, to be here for so the show. About but, that. but I'm telling you, people, are out. my wife and I went out for dinner uh, Friday night. Okay. Um, 
after leaving the studio Friday night and people were out late at night but yes a good half yes. of the people in the restaurant mm-hmm. <laughs> were dressed yes, in they some were. form of African yes, garb dashikis everything. everything yes they were and I love to see them I saw some at my theater too yeah. I was over uh, Regal Simmel and Laura and I mean some people had the Black Panther mask I brought mine you know and just we just had a ball, you know. Yeah. Not to say any other movie um, we won't enjoy to this higher force. Even when people do the Star Wars, they come out. Yeah, you know, they're in their Han Solo. I saw some oh, Christmas yeah. later earlier. Yeah, so it's like you know, it's it's an event. People like it as an event. I have a feeling when the next one comes out, which will be um, Marvel's um, eight. Um, Infinity War is coming out. Mm-hmm. You're looking forward to mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. I know I am. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing some people in some Thanos. With the with the fist with all the stones, you know, maybe some people wore Black Panther, maybe some Captain America. You never know. Yeah. Um, speaking of one last thing before we finish that up, um, there's some things at the end of those end credits that's nice and you know a little needy. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Can't go into that, but like we always say, when you're watching a Marvel, do not leave right Don't away. Leave. See, back in the days we could just leave and we had to yeah. say, but see, certain people like Marvel, their company, they make you wait and see that's the slickness in them. Don't leave right away, people. Stay. Oh. It's, it's two different things. I'll just say it like that. I'm mm-hmm. not telling you what they are, so I'm not spoiling for you. So you can't yep. get mad in the comment section at me, <laughs> whichever. So you all yeah. can enjoy whichever. No, I'll just stay until the end, completely right. to the end. So, but yeah, we all had we had a ball. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I think I'm gonna go see it one more time. That'll be three times, three times a charm, and then I, I'm gonna be good. I'm good. I'm yeah. good. And then when it comes out on DVD and then watch it again, I'll be enjoying it. It'll be exciting again to see it after seeing it, not seeing it for so long. But I'm excited. Speaking of um, the amount, I think they're calling for to make about $215 million. They said estimated somewhere between 150 maybe 175 but it looks like it's going to break some good records, mm-hmm. you know, like it did for its pre-sale. And then, of course, Thursday night did really well. And now going into, what is it, for it? Good. We have a good old, was it four or five day um, with the holiday? Mm-hmm. Yeah, kudos to Black Panther. I'm excited for them. So, yeah. you know, I can't complain about that. And that makes puts a smile on my face. So, yes. but yeah, so I think, yeah, we, we give it. Yeah, I give it two thumbs up. I, I definitely. Yes. yes. So you guys, please go out and watch it. We we can't recommend it enough. Comment below if you all have seen it. Tell us what you think. You know, who did you like the most? You know, you enjoyed the fight scenes, the battle. You know, the the, the comedy aspect of it. Mm-hmm. You want a little bit more story. You know, pros, cons, whatever. No, that's all good because I love to engage you all and everything. You know, things all Black Panther. You know, so. But with that said, we have one little thing before I go. Tune in, check out my buddy from Real Husbands or Lago every Thursday night at 10. 10 o'clock. The, bro- the brothers are doing their thing. You already know where I'm at every Sunday from 1 to 1.30. I look forward to hearing from you guys. I look forward to you all tuning in. And before we actually go, we have a little treat for you guys. Um, a little skit, you know, for our love of Black Panther that we're going to go ahead and show you. And with that said, you all enjoy the rest of your day. Go out and catch that Black Panther. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy your holiday. And you guys take care. Yeah, I um, we were talking about it on our show. There was a group who was. Hey, hon, what you doing? You know what? Whatever. Um, I have the packages that we need to take care of our errands, so I'm about to go out to the car. I'm ready whenever you are. to do. Ah! Oh my god! What are you doing? Get off the hood! You know what? That that's it. That's it. Hunt, get off the hood, honey. The neighbors can see you. What are you doing? First off. Hun, hun. All I gotta say to you is this. Get, get, get in the car, please. Please get in the car. Okay. Thank you. First off, you're not to chill. This is not Wakanda. Your movie comes out in one more week, hun. Can you save the fanboy for that time? We gotta take care of the errands. You just need to take the mask off and the gloves, please. Thank you.
I appreciate it. All right. Okay, are you ready? Can we go? Wakanda forever! Hun, can you come in here for a minute? I need some help with this jar. One minute, wait right there. I will be back. Okay, all right. 